Fiction Tales Safety Topics with your host, Leslie M. Jasper. In this video, I'm going to discuss the dangers of silica. You may ask, what is silica? Why do I even have to be concerned about it? Silica is a hard, unreactive, colorless compound which occurs as the mineral quartz and as a principal constituent of sandstone and other rocks. Silicone is known chemically as dioxide of silicon, SiO2, that's occurring in crystalline, amorphous, and impure forms, quartz, opal, and sand, respectively. Quartz is the most abundant form of crystalline silica. Lesser common forms would be cristobalite and tritomite. Silica is a chemical compound that has been formed from both oxygen and silicon atoms. This chemical compound appears in two forms, hazardous crystalline or non-hazardous amorphous. It is crystalline silica that causes all of the troubles for workers around the globe. Breathing in dust from silica-containing materials can lead to a health condition that's known as silicosis. Silica dust particles become trapped within the lung tissue that causes inflammation and scarring. The particles also reduce the lung's ability to take in oxygen, which is absolutely essential to maintain life. Silicosis is a health condition that develops over time after constant exposure over 10 years or more. However, the disease can occur much more quickly after heavy exposure. Silicosis results in permanent lung damage and is a progressive, debilitating, and sometimes fatal disease. Sadly, there is no cure for silicosis, and it could even be required to get a lung transplant. Workers who have been exposed to silica and those who have silicosis are also at increased risk of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a contagious and potentially life-threatening infection. Other diseases that morph as a result of silica exposure include lung cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, kidney disease, or an autoimmune disorder. How do you even know if you have silicosis? Symptoms of silicosis may include the following, cough, fatigue, shortness of breath, chest pain, your next question should be, where can silica be found? Who are the people that are most exposed to silica? Silica is an abundantly natural material that can be found in various locations on Earth. Crystalline silica can be stumbled upon within rock, stone, soil, clay, gravel, and sand. This natural compound can also be discovered in concrete, brick, mortar, and other construction materials. Quartz is the most common form where crystalline silica is derived from. Quartz dust is known as respirable crystalline silica. This means it can be taken into the body by merely breathing it in. Silica is present within building and landscaping materials such as roof slate, bricks, tiles, concrete, glass, ceramics, and plastic composites. Silica is a pesky, lingering visitor during many common construction tasks, such as excavating, mining, quarrying, and tunneling. Miners often work to orchestrate an explosion of high silica content rock while in the midst of burrowing into the dark depths of the earth. Once it becomes airborne, it wafts through the ventilation system where miners all take their breaths while burrowing and blasting underground. Masons are also within another industry that is exposed to high quantities of silica while handling cement and the dust that is laden with silica once the cement powder is disturbed. Masonry tasks such as scabbling or concrete cutting work to introduce silica into the workers lungs via the air. Silica dust is super fine and can easily be picked up once it becomes airborne. Silica is a hundred times smaller than a grain of sand. Because of how small the particles are, say approximately five micrometers in diameter, the tiny micrograins are transported into the lungs. Once silica is transported to the lungs, it works to permanently scar and damage the lung tissue. In addition to miners and masons, here is a list 
of the other industries where exposure is possible. Engineers, example, oil and gas engineers. Farmers, workers breaking, crushing, grinding, or milling material containing silica dust, sandblasting, or casting. Paving, surface or cement finishing, bricklaying, demolition work, road construction, stone masonry, mineral or treating processes, manufacture workers of glass, ceramics, brick, concrete, tile, metals, or machinery. This concludes this Construction Tales safety topic. Come back for more topics soon.